Hello and welcome back to Fixing It Up. Hope those of you who are in the UK right now are enjoying the uh, sunny bank holiday weekend. I just thought I would bring you guys a bit of an update on the Tecra A9. I haven't yet purchased the charger, but that is something that I will be looking to do very shortly. But in the meantime, the Samsung SSD has arrived and some basically new old stock RAM has arrived to get this one at least part way functioning or at least fit some of the parts that are required. So I thought I would bring you guys up to speed and have a go at fitting this and bring you a little bit of an update on the Tecra. Obviously I won't be able to try the parts that I fitted today because the battery is completely dead and out of juice and I don't have a charger as of yet but I thought I would at least do a video of showing how to fit the SSD and the RAM into one of these Tegra A9s. Very useful for somebody if they've got one that wants to understand where the slots are and everything. So as you're looking at it, this is on the left hand side. I did say that it was on the right hand side. That's because I was looking at the laptop upside down so apologies the hard drive um, location is on the left hand side and the ram slot is in this center position here so there are two ram slots i've got a matched pair of ram that will go in this one and give it the full four gig which is the maximum the motherboard can take so i'm hoping with the centrino this has also got wi-fi and bluetooth i mean like i say these these uh, business Tecra A9s were quite sort of fully featured, really, for the time. You know, they had uh, full-blown Wi-Fi, they had full-blown Bluetooth, and um, were good to go. You can see the Wi-Fi card just peeking out there. That's where the internal Wi-Fi card lives. And uh, I believe the Bluetooth is underneath that, or it might be an all-in-one card, I'm not sure. But anyway, that's also where that lives, in case you need to. But without further ado, I will fit the SSD. Now, there's little pads in this area here. And this seems to then grip the whatever hard drive is in there. Uh, so there are no physical screws for this. So this is, like I say, your typical SATA connection there. That's your data and power. So uh, that will just fit in like so. So we'll fit that in now. Always good. You'll see on these they have the arrow. And literally you can't go wrong fitting these. So I'm just going to line this up now and get that fitted. And there we go. That is the header the SATA header cable on there now and the hard drive literally just sits in there like that and like I say those pads there do provide protection obviously the Toshiba Easy Care um, software probably wouldn't work under Windows 10 anyway but there's no requirement for the software to park the heads of the hard drive because we've gone solid state where there are no moving parts and now on to the RAM. So this is DDR2 RAM. As you can see here, it says uh, PC... Let's try and bring that in focus a bit more. Um, so it's PC2 5300S, as is the other slot. Like I say, they're both Samsung branded sticks of RAM. So we will go for the bottom slot to start off with. And then literally you push in, and there we go, you hear that click, that's the RAM slot gone home. Same again with this one, again, exactly the same uh, type of RAM speed, it's the same manufacturer as well, so we should be able to get all of the performance. This is why we always try, when you're putting two sticks in, to go for two RAM slots, the two RAM sticks the same. Just check that that's gone home. If you ever need to release it, you just pull these catches and then the stick slides up. I'll just make sure that is properly in there, which it is. And that one, bottom one, went home first time, no problem. And this one is now in there. 
So that is the two RAM slots now fitted, the SSD fitted. This will mean that when we get the charger, which I'm hoping I'll get ordered later on today and should arrive um, later on this week with a bit of luck, we'll be able to get this project moving forward and we'll see what happens. Like I say, I'm, I'm hoping I am taking a bit of a risk and a gamble with this one. So <laughs> we don't know whether exactly it will power up after all of this, but I've given the laptop a good thorough inspection. I don't see anything physically wrong with it. Everything is there and that is exactly what you want, really. There we go. That's the hard drive cover back on. This is the RAM cover. And again, I'll just click into place and then just screw down with those screws. So there we go. That's fairly straightforward for anybody that ends up taking one of these on, these Tepper A9s. Like I say, they really are, um, you know, the business beasts from the day, really. And um, I'm looking forward to getting this one back up and running as soon as possible. And I don't see anything really wrong with it. One thing I forgot to show you all when I got this brought this netbook in uh, not, it's not netbook sorry uh, business laptop in as you can see it's in very good condition I mean yes there are a couple of minor marks there but you know that's going to be going in and out of somebody's briefcase and uh, let's see if I can give you an idea of the front of the laptop as it faces you so there we go. You can see there that it's actually in really nice condition, actually. Uh, I haven't seen one in this good a condition for a very long time because they often get battered and bruised, um, as they would do. But, you know, like I say, the these um, Tecra A9s really do do the business. Well, at least they did back in the days when these were new, but I still think this is going to be a very capable machine. Once we get it up and running, obviously what I'm going to look to do in the next uh, episode of fixing it up once the charger arrives is as soon as that charger arrives, I'm going to film us trying to do the first power on and see if we manage to get any life out of this machine. Otherwise, what I've just done now would be a waste of time. But you've got to have a bit of a gamble when when something comes up in this nice condition and like I say, the hard drives and RAM would have been taken out of business uh, machines, you know, corporate devices, which is where I think this, this device has come from. It's been used by a business and they've, for, for data protection and data security, have removed the RAM and the hard drive out of it. So I, I don't imagine there's anything necessarily wrong with it. It's just a case that those parts weren't there. And that was a good time to fit the SSD, seeing there was no drive in there in the first place. Well, I think that one bring uh, that brings this one to a close. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, pop a comment either down below or reach out to me on uh, the Twitter page. Again, a link will be in the description. And take care, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you again in a future video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and we'll see you for the next update on the Toshiba Tecra A9. Thanks again for watching. Bye bye.